Blender's Grease Pencil is a tool that is getting better over time, but it doesn't hurt to take advantage of it even further using some Blender add-ons. And this is what we're gonna talk about in today's video. So today, we're gonna go over some of the best add-ons that can leverage the power of the Grease Pencil. Without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the Grease Pencil Draw Transform add-on, which will allow you to edit strokes while remaining in the draw mode through the use of shortcuts. There is a plethora of shortcuts that serve functions too numerous to count, which will allow you to modify your strokes in 2D without exiting the draw mode. There are also different ways to extend and transform your strokes, rotate, move, among other features that we recommend you see for yourself. Keep in mind that this tool uses a joint plane position and orientation to determine which stroke to pick and where to reproject, and can't work on multiple joint depths in the same object. And as someone who lives by keyboard shortcuts, these features are amazing. The next add-on is called the Real Pencil, and it is on the funky side. It's perfect for creating tutorials, demos, or just fun. But what is it exactly? It is a pen-like utensil that can track the movements of your tablet. It includes a mocha feature to easily create animations of your process. And it is worth noting that this add-on is purely cosmetic, and it doesn't add any drawing features. However, the full package contains multiple pen models optimized to look good in any shady mode. It also includes paper-like surface materials to draw on, with some even having unique animations such as the scroll. There is a basic version of the add-on that includes a single basic stylus model, and for those interested in the extra features, the model pack provides, well, the models with no additional animations. Once you get it, you can easily set it up in the sidebar by pressing view, then real pencil. Now, this add-on does have some issues, including scuffed mouse click detection in modes that are not grease pencil. Also, minimizing and maximizing can cause the tool to crash. And on any versions before Blender 3.5, the pen shaders are straight up broken. But perhaps most annoying, the autosave feature, but probably the most annoying, is the autosave feature will not run while this add-on is active, so keep that in mind. Other than that, this tool is a perfect mix between light-hearted fun and better visual clarity for content creators, so I recommend you give it a try. Now, if you're looking to save time, this add-on called Grease Pencil for Mesh will allow you to convert a mesh object into a grease pencil object with edge filtering from sharp edges, intersection, and curved surface outlines. This basically can help you integrate objects into the Grease Pencil workflow for more flexibility during the animation or illustration process, maybe storyboarding process as well. And it is really as simple as that. The newest version is now sensitive to shadows and highlights as well as curved output. And this tool does have a free version that only works with sharp edge filtering. With it, you won't have access to intersections, curved surfaces, animation and text object conversion, and curves output. And for the pro version, you will have additional features of course. Generally speaking, this tool is amazing and can save you a lot of time. So I highly recommend it. Now we're gonna talk about Grease Pencil Design, which is an add-on created with the intention of turning this tool into a fully flashed graphic design software. It comes with many quality of life improvements, including features such as Align, which will allow you to align obviously points, strokes, or layers based on their position in the 2D view that can also work with groups in absolute mode. Distribute will allow you to easily manage your strokes or your spacing between set strokes for improved consistency. Other notable tools and features include Arrangement, Bevel, and Merge to soften your sharp corners or merge points within your strokes. And it even offers easier layer management options for creating, deleting, merging, and selecting the content within a layer.
Another useful add-on is called Grease Pencil Radial Symmetry. This tool is exactly what it sounds like, or what its name suggests. It is a real-time symmetry tool for Grease Pencil, and it includes presets for X and Z axis symmetry, radial symmetry for up to 20 segments, and frame symmetry. It also includes some demo files and an instruction PDF. As for what you do with it, it's honestly up to your imagination. The tool makes your designs easy to animate, and it can save you some time as well. Now, talking about animation, we have an add-on called Grease Pencil Animator Desk. This tool will accentuate Grease Pencil's primary function of 2D animation, and it offers a set of extra panels and buttons designed to make the workflow as streamlined and as smooth as possible. It gives extra navigation and layout buttons in the 3D view, in addition to onion skinning switcher, as well as providing options and presets for set onion skinning, in addition to a way to optimize automatic in-betweens. Also, it helps you manage reference joins without exiting draw mode, in addition to fast switching between most used tools and the ability to extend frame management options, customizable hotkeys, FPS management, and many other stuff. On an even more affordable note, this add-on is actually free. DigiPen brings new features for 2D graphic design and illustration. Its main commands are boolean for union, difference, and intersection of shape, as well as offset and inset. And it can convert 2D shapes into meshes. It also offers an extended clipboard, as well as optimized exchange with other painting and design software through PSD format for both brushes and designs. Honestly, this makes Blender even more of a jack of all trades and won't cost you anything, so there is no harm in giving it a shot. The next add on called Sketch and Carve mainly tries to simplify and speed up the 3D modeling process by taking advantage of the grease pencil tools. For those that are more comfortable with sketching, this tool will allow you to convert any drawing into 3D geometry with a single click which is fantastic. Its features range from mass geometry to curves to animation and even simulation, and it is available for any version beyond 2.9. Now, as a counterpoint to the Draw Transform tool that we talked about earlier, and for those of us who cannot remember shortcuts or don't have access to one in the case of the tablet users, this tool will save you the migraine of shifting through menus and tools. Most 3D programs aren't very friendly to beginners as they are far more efficient to use, and sometimes even hide key features behind keyboard shortcuts. For that, this tool offers a side panel that you can customize by mode or individual tools, and the customizability extends to the panel's name, button size, and number of columns, and it even allows you to assign keyboard shortcuts to these buttons. Overall, this is an ideal tool to optimize and customize your workflow to suit your projects. Last but not least, we have AnimCopy. The name is a short and concise description of exactly what the tool does. To keep it simple, you can copy animation data from one object to many other objects, which is a time saver one might call it. Generally speaking, it is very simple to use, only a few clicks in fact and you will copy animation data relatively quickly. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.